When we first started the project, we um, had a list of things that we wanted to, to keep and a, and a list of opportunities that we, we thought we could improve on. The first thing was kind of primarily kind of don't screw it up um, when you've got a bike like the Classic that's amassed such a, a, a big following over the years it's been around. We didn't want to change it too drastically. The new Classic kind of levels up the whole experience really. Um, gone are the days where it used to be for a few select enthusiasts, it's become much more of a mainstream product. With that came a lot of challenges in the design work. There was um, a lot of new technology that was uh, stuff that we wanted to include, so things like the, uh, the tripper device, the, the sat-nav, and USB charging and that sort of thing that people expect from a modern motorcycle and makes the, the whole experience a lot nicer. But there was also a lot of legislative things like ABS, emissions, catalytic converters, that sort of thing that we need to package in the motorcycle, but they aren't necessarily things that are pleasant to look at. What we've tried to do is um, keep the great classic character of the engine, the look um, and the sound. Um, the, the key thing we've probably changed is to add a balancer shaft to get rid of the, rear, the nasty vibrations. So it's much more comfortable for the rider. We have made many changes to the chassis to improve um, its handling and its ride and um, the overall behavior of the product. But when you get on it and you ride it, you still know from the outset it is definitely a classic. So the new bike retains the essential essence of being a classic 350. It's recognizably a classic 350. It puts your, you know, you're sitting in a very similar position. And when you ride a motorcycle, the, the position it puts your body in tells you a lot about the bike and what it's for. Uh, and that's, that feeling of sitting on top of the bike upright, you know, it, um, is a big part of the appeal of the classic. The real world performance is really good. Again, it's not something you see from the numbers, but when you get on it, and you'll, you'll feel the difference. Uh, but it gives you a much better feeling of solidity and confidence as the speed increases. So it retains that really excellent, you know, tight turning circle, ease of riding, neutral behavior at low speeds, but extends that feeling of supreme confidence up to the higher speeds as well. So, you know, it, you'll feel a real difference in the dynamics on the bike. I guess one of the, the key elements is, it's the celebration of the mechanical. It's all the components are on show. We don't try and hide things behind umpteen plastic panels that are layered on top of each other. We try and celebrate each component for what it is and, and not try and hide that because of that authenticity, I think, and it is one of the last true classic motorcycles almost.